What's up friend, Hector here, strongasheck.com. Today we're gonna to be opening up a whole new mobility series and we're gonna be focusing on the wrist and the shoulder. So in order to get, uh, in order to move really well and in order to go through specific mobility exercises, we gotta be able to put load on the wrist and we need to um, have really good movement of the shoulder and mobility of the shoulder uh, to do things like overhead movements, um, snatching, push-ups, all that kind of good stuff, right? Putting weight over your head is being able to move that shoulder. So in the press uh, series, we broke down a lot of thoracic. Uh, we kind of addressed the thoracic uh, region of the spine, which is this upper chest, being able to flex, extend, and rotate. So those are your three actions. So since we've already more or less addressed that, we're gonna be kind of targeting now the wrists and targeting the shoulders. So in order for the shoulders to be able to move freely, a mobile thoracic spine is essential, okay? And like I said, there's three actions that should be able to um, happen with the thoracic, is it should be able to rotate left and right, more or less 45 degrees, and uh, it should be able to flex, and it should be able to extend, okay? So once we establish that, now we can start to target the shoulders uh, specifically, otherwise you're just kind of cranking on your shoulders and you're really not gonna get anywhere. So now that we've got that out of the way, um, and we went through that through the press series, now we're gonna start to address um, the wrists and the shoulders. So this may, um, be a little fatiguing for your wrists, and we'll go through some like decompression little drills here at the end. But uh, essentially what I'm gonna want you to do is we're gonna practice this from a half kneeling windmill position, which is gonna, you'll be, you'll see this um, like in our get up series when we get down there. And if you're familiar with get ups, this position is gonna be very comfortable for you. Um, so essentially you're gonna be in this half kneeling windmill position. So half kneeling is simply an asymmetrical stance where you have one knee down and one knee up. And I'm gonna be in this 90 degree um, kneeling lunge position. I'm not gonna be in a true lunge. I'm gonna be in this 90 degree, okay? From here, I'm basically gonna be in this windmill, half kneeling windmill posture, just like so. Okay, hands under my shoulder, knees underneath my hip. From here, I'm going to imagine that I have a kettlebell in my hand. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, um, in the ground force method system, we're gonna do a movement called S movement. And this is gonna be kind of like a half S movement. So from here, keep, my, keep your eye on your palm. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my palm away from my body, okay? Turn my palm away from my face, and then tuck my arm up my lower back, okay? Come back, and then you're gonna tuck your hand behind your head. Inhale. As you exhale, notice when I turn my palm away, I don't wanna give up my shoulder. So as I turn my palm away, I don't want to keep turning until I completely give my shoulder up. Do you see that? I want to keep my shoulder connected, okay? Inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna turn your palm away. Once it stops, let's say you stop with your palm facing straight back behind you, just bring your hand behind your back and tuck it as far as you can without giving up your shoulder. Okay, so let's say you come here and right as your hand passes behind your butt, let's just say that's all you got. And if you go lower, your, your shoulder starts to move forward. That's your limitation, that's where you're at. So let's say that happens to be it, okay? You're gonna breathe through it. Come back, hand behind the head. The moment your shoulder starts to give in, back up a little bit and breathe through it. And you're gonna go through this 10 times, okay? These little swipes. Turn the palm away. Swipe. Okay, and you're gonna do that on both sides. Ooh, I feel that. <laughs> Same position, 
half kneeling windmill, half kneeling lunge, hands underneath my shoulder, knees underneath my hip, hand here, breathe, turn the palm away, and if you didn't notice, I actually have way more mobility, more, way better internal rotation. On this side, I can turn my hand pretty much all the way this way. So you'll notice there may be asymmetries for you. So when I turn back to this side, that, that's my limitation right there. Like my palm is barely facing that way. I can't even, if I keep going, I'll give up my shoulder. So for me, I have a limitation here on my right side. So just make note of any asymmetries, any uh, limitations that you have because you will have some imbalances from left to right. And it's okay, especially if you're dominant on one side, let's say maybe you, you're, you like to play golf and you're always doing something on one side um, or you're a baseball coach or something like that and you're just always kind of using one side, you're always gonna have some kind of asymmetry and that's okay. Um, you just wanna keep it, um, I guess, manageable, right? Keep them close, but if it's like, I can barely move this side and I'm crazy mobile here, then that's a problem. But if it's like, ah, I can move it almost all the way, but I have a limitation and this one goes like all the way around, um, it's not that big of a deal, okay? Just keep working on this little drill. So hands underneath, so you'll notice from here, I can completely turn my palm, I can almost turn my palm towards my face all the way, see? Without giving up my shoulder other hand starts to give my shoulder in. So anyway, enough about my limitations. <laughs> Turn the palm away and then tuck underneath, hand up the lower back. Hand behind the head. And you're gonna go through this about 10 times. This is gonna help improve all of your overhead positions. This is gonna help improve um, overhead pressing, jerks, push presses, and we're actually getting ready to start our kettlebell snatch series on both technique and workouts. So this is gonna go perfectly to make sure that that shoulder is moving optimally. You've got adequate range of motion because eventually we're gonna be taking that bell overhead. So pretty simple lesson today. Um, that's all I got. If you have any questions and you have comments, leave something in the comment section below. Um, like or subscribe. I appreciate it. That way you can stay up to date with all the latest information um, on our mobility movement Mondays, technique of the week, and workout of the week. So that's all I got for you guys this week. Again, I'm Hector with strongasheck.com with this week's movement Monday for the week.